Right, this is the third and hopefully the final video in this saga of my medium wave interference. Just to recap, um, the interference was coming in from the cables, uh, broadband, TV, telephone, all the cables that come in from the street. Um, I tracked this down, so uh, that, that's what the interference was. It took me quite a while to track it down, but it was definitely uh, the cable. They, you know, especially the broadband, that's what it's all about, is broadband interference. Anyway, the interference returned. Initially, uh, you have to watch videos one and two, but uh, initially dreadful interference on medium wave and short wave up to about seven, seven and a half megs. Uh, medium wave was just about totally wiped out. Um, I got on to Twitter, because that's the place to complain to companies. They're no good going to their website. I went to Twitter and I put at uh, the KBO, at Virgin Media. Um, and I explained, I'm not going to go all through this because you can see this on the other videos. Uh, I had a response from the company, blah, blah, blah. Contact the cabinet hotline, that's the street cabinet. The interference disappeared. They fixed it. Yay. Great. So I tuned around on medium wave. Uh, it was exactly as it used to be. Um, yeah, I could hear the stations, but there was all the, the background crackling and buzzing and bits and pieces, the blanket of noise that I've been used to for, well, the last, what, couple of years at least. Um, it's just been getting worse. I put this down to all sorts of uh, appliances and bits and pieces, phones, laptops, uh, computers, iPads, plasma screen televisions, just the general noise created by all of these, uh, all these things, these devices. Right, I was happy with that, that sort of, well I won't say happy, um, that's what I'd been used to, the general blanket of noise, the, the, the severe interference had gone. So medium wave I could listen to, uh, you know, when I'm showing a customer a radio I've restored, I could tune around, and I, I would say, you know, the interference is computers and whatever, um, but it was good. Medium wave was usable again. Then the interference returned with a vengeance, totally wiped out medium wave. Um, so I went back to Twitter, at Virgin Media, and I said, uh, it's wiping out BBC radio stations on medium wave. Uh, and I had a, a reply within 20 minutes. Um, and it said, uh, there is no way our cables can emit waves that will interfere with your BBC radio. That was it. So I replied to that tweet. I said, I didn't want to come across as a, a big headed know-it-all. Uh, so I put, I am involved in electronics and I have checked this out and the interference is definitely coming, coming in from the, the cables in the street into the house. I just left it at that. I didn't say, oh, well, you're wrong or you're stupid or anything like that, because that won't get you anywhere. Um, I heard nothing, nothing. I didn't get any reply to that. Uh, so that whoever that was, it sort of shut them up, I suppose. Um, yeah, with all due respect, whoever it is that does answers the tweets, you know, they're not going to be technically minded. That's fine. They just answer general queries. So that's fine. Uh, a couple of days later, the interference went again, completely gone. Yes, at last. Hopefully this time they fixed it permanently. I could only assume that the previous time they perhaps tightened up connections in the cabinet or whatever. I don't know what they'd done. Unfortunately, you don't get feedback. I don't know what, what had gone on. Um, one thing I did add in my last tweet, I said uh, what I'll do is uh, I better get on to the BBC and tell them about it because you know, I can't hear their radio stations on medium wave. I wonder whether that did any good. Possibly someone at Virgin might have thought, of, oh dear, we better shut this idiot up before he causes trouble. Right, let's move on. Now, this is the interesting bit. As I said, the severe interference had gone. I was left with the, the usual blanket of noise that I've been used to for several years. I was working on one of these radios, the Bush DAC-90A, like this one. I did the alignment. I do it properly with test equipment. Um, and I tune around on medium wave, the, there's a station. Rest of the medium wave, volume's f flat out there. Not much. 
stations are there. Um, they're there. But where's... There's a weak station. But where's all the background noise? Right? Where is all the... What I used to think was the radio is very lively. You're tuning around, there's crackles and buzzes and bzzz, a blanket of interference that I've been used for two for years had gone. I rechecked the alignment. Now my old signal generator, you can't the output meter, you know, forget that for accuracy, for calibration. What I do is I get 50 milliwatts of audio on my audio output meter, okay? Uh, Sig Jenny, you know, you know the story, modulate at 30%, blah blah blah. I know the output. I've realigned, I don't know, dozens and dozens of these radios over the decades, over the years. Um, I know what the output on this SIG Jenny should be to give me 50 milliwatts output on the audio output meter. And it's fine. The radio was fine. I tried my transistor radio, right? Volume flat out. That's medium wave. Nothing. Look. Stations are there. And now you just noticed where's all the blanket of noise? <laughs> I initially thought I had a problem with the radio and I spent quite a while, even though the, the test equipment said that the alignment was fine and it was working properly, I didn't kind of trust that. Where's all the noise? You're tuning around and it's bzzz, and crackles and buzzing. It's all gone. Um, anyway, I decided, well, if, if the radio's working properly, okay, went back to the customer. Perfectly happy with it. I've since aligned, what, this uh, half a dozen or so. Each one's the same, as is this one. What's happened is, whatever they did to the cabinet in the street, um, they got rid of the, the main interference. It's also got rid of this blanket of noise that I've had for two, possibly three years. And I can't believe it. Media, the radio seem to me like, as if they're deaf but they're not at all. They're working beautifully. I've got a benchmark French station that I listen to. Uh, as a final thing, I just tune into the French station. Yeah, that's right. I can hear that. I know, I know the kind of level it should be at and it's fine. Um, so I, I then went even further. I've got a round echo, the A22. Here's a photo of it. There we are. Just to remind you what it looks like. Lovely radio, fully restored. I did it years ago, and I switch it on most days. Well, not most, every other day, perhaps. I have a listener tune around, um, and I turned that on, and that was just the same. Well, it would be. I mean, it's quiet on medium wave. That round echo. I've I've had it several years. I've never heard it working so well. Uh, I can hear weak stations. In fact, um, on. The radios I've been working on on the bench, customers radios, I'm in Worthing in Sussex on the south coast of the UK. I can hear uh, gold on 1548 kilohertz, uh, which covers Greater London. It's, you're not meant to get it down here. I've never been able to get it on any of these radios because of interference. Forget the, the severe interference. I've never heard gold on 1548 because of the general blanket of interference. So, for all these years, all I can assume, unless something else has happened locally, I don't know, all I can assume is that all this blanket interference has been coming from the cable, the cable company, uh, pumped into the house. Disaster. Um, I can now tune around on shortwave, uh, 160 meter amateur band, the 80 meter amateur band. I gave up with it, just so much interference, forget it. Um, 40 meters wasn't too bad. Once you get above sort of seven or eight megs, then the interference dropped right off. But uh, it, it's all quiet now, I can't believe it. Don't get me wrong, on shortwave, I still get a lot of, a lot of interference, but nothing like it used to be. Um, you know, I now just get plasma screen tellies and the general sort of hash that comes from everyday appliances. <laughs> so there we are, that's the story. Um, uh, is there anything else to add? I don't think there is anything else to say. I'm still finding it a bit odd when I complete a, a radio, uh, do the alignment and everything, it's all finished. Um, and I tune around medium wave and that liveliness isn't there. Uh, I still, although I know that it's fine, I, 
it just doesn't sort of, I don't know, it doesn't seem right. Where's all the noise as you tune between stations? It's gone. Probably find there'll be a part four video next week. The noise has come back. No, 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 I, I think that's it now. So persevere, if you've got noise, persevere and use Twitter to contact these companies, whether it be a supermarket or whatever, go to Twitter, find them on there, because they're all on there, put at whatever supermarket it is, find their, their, uh, their name, and they'll come back to you, they answer you. I did that with our local supermarket. I said, why do you get carrots from Italy? Don't we grow them in the UK anymore? Within half an hour, they got back to me. Yeah, we do, blah, 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 we buy UK, but times of sort of uh, busy periods, we have to get them from abroad. So there we are. I'm going to have a coffee break. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.